Hello, it's Tyler from All Track. Uh, today I'm going to show you the proper way to adjust your automatic track tension adjusting system. Uh, it's a fairly quick process and once you know what you're doing, it, uh, you should be able to do it in only a few minutes. So as you can see on this unit, I've opened up the driver's side of the engine compartment. Depending on the model and configuration of your AT20 or AT50 vehicle, the track tension adjustment may be located in a different spot, but it will be the same valve. Uh, so as you can see here, this here is actually the pressure gauge for the track tension adjustment block. Um, this one mounted back here in this model is actually charge pressure, so disregard this for this, uh, this procedure. What you want to do is locate these two valves. So the tall one is actually your pressure relief valve. The shorter one is actually the unloader valve. So the unloader valve is actually where you want to set your working pressure for the unit. The relief valve should be set higher than the track adjuster pressure. This is just to back up in case something happens and you don't blow a line. Um, this here is the relief. So if you want to take the tracks off or do any track maintenance, you would disengage that and that bleeds the pressure out of the system. In this case, you would leave it on. So first off, you want to start by loosening off these two nuts, um, the two lock nuts. So I believe one of them is an 11 16 and the other is a three quarter. I believe this one's 11 16 this is three quarter. Um, then you want to get yourself an Allen key to fit the uh, the adjustment, which, which are both the same in this case. Uh, so what I'll do, I've already gone ahead and loosened these off. So first thing you want to do is actually tighten this one down so you get it out of the way. So in other words, tighten it down, you know, two or three turns just to make sure you're not, a, not getting in the way when you're adjusting this one. Once you have this one tightened down, you will adjust your pressure with this one and you'll see that the pressure actually bounces kind of about 100 to 200 PSI depending what setting it's at. So that's the block unloading or dumping the, the remaining flow to tank and then kicking it on when it needs to. Um, so this is actually what you're adjusting your work pressure with. Once you have this adjusted, then you back this one off till you see on the gauge that it is now going through the relief valve. And then you tighten it up half a turn. So it's sitting just over top of the setting of the unloader valve. Um, I'll get my colleague here to start it and I will do the same thing with the engine running so you can see how it works. video there when the engine was running I was able to adjust the pressure so at the working range is sitting at around 800 psi and the unloader will vary between 800 and 600 as it kicks on and off to provide pressure to the valve I tightened up the relief valve about half a turn past the setting where I could see that it was it was actually reducing pressure um, that gets the setting set properly if you set it wrong where you have the relief valve set lower then the unloader valve what happens is it just builds heat um, of course heat and robbing horsepower is an enemy of any hydraulic system um, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us we'd be glad to help anytime thanks a lot